Hi, right, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, to everyone discuss, pretty interesting video on trigonometry and look at an identity and its proof. Uh, this one right here, sine 3x equals 3 sine x minus 4 sine cubed x. I'm doing this now because in the next couple of videos I'll be using this identity. So I thought I might as well prove it in a separate video because it just it takes a bit uh, long for uh, inside another video. So let's look at this identity right here. Notice that we have sine 3x and now with this 3x angle inside the sine, well it gets removed. So to do that, uh, what we can uh, note is if we recall the uh, identity which I proved in my earlier video, and you can see that in the video link below, basically we recall whenever we have an addition or a subtraction, so if we have a sine x plus or minus y, and then the, uh, the identity we, that I proved before was sine x cos y, you know, and then we also have plus or minus right here. So if it's a plus, we do a plus, if it's a minus, we do a minus. And then what we do here is going to be cos x sine y. So the only thing is we switch the sine sine cos this is going to be cos sine like that. Also, uh, also uh, we'll use this in this proof for cosine. When we have cosine plus or minus y, this is and we'll use this in soon. So I'll just write it down right here for this identity is cosine x uh, cosine y. So the difference is you use cosine again, and then it's going to be minus plus like that and this is going to be sine x sine y so again proof for both of these are in a video description below and we'll use this in a bit so the idea now is basically to try to simplify this by using this identity so what we'll note is sine uh, 3x is equal to sine uh, x plus 2x and then and notice here once we do this we're going to have to apply it again as, as you'll find out soon. So then now if we apply this identity, what we end up getting is sine x. Cosine is going to be 2x. So the y is this 2x right there. Now it's plus, so we're adding this is going to be cosine x. And then uh, this is going to be sine 2x, like that. But now notice uh, what we have now. So we've removed the 3, but we're left with the 2. So we have to apply the sum rule again. But now we have the sine 2x, and we have a cosine 2x, like that. So then we can apply the cosine. We could also apply the sine. Let's apply the sine 2x first. And I've done this uh, sine 2x in my earlier video as well. Let's just do this again. So sine 2x equals 2 sine x plus y. Actually, the y is just an x, so, so this just means, yeah, so the y is just an x, so sine 2x equals to sine x plus x, and now we do the same thing as above, so sine x cos x, and then we add plus, uh, this is going to be cos x sine x, like that. And now what we have, the sine x cos x, same thing as cos x sine x, so this equals to 2 sine x cos x. So now that we have this, we could throw this inside here. And now we need to solve for cos 2x. So cos 2x is going to be, well, cos x plus x, like that. Then this equals 2 by this identity we're adding. So we have to subtract. And we're going to have to write this as cos x, cos x minus sine x, sine x, because the y is x right there like that. And we can simplify this even further. This just equals to cos squared x minus sine squared x, like that. And then we could box this. And now we throw this one all the way inside here, like that. So now what we end up getting is when we put that inside and then bring this back down, and now what we have is sine 3x is equal to, so sine x cos 2x, or sine x, and now we have cos 2x, which is equal to this right here, which is cos squared x minus sine squared x, like that, and now we add cos x sine 2x. So plus cos x, and then the sine 2x is going to be 2 sine x cos x like that. So now we try to simplify this further. 
This equals 2, multiply this inside. What we get is sine x cos 2x minus, this is going to be sine cubed x. And then plus right here, uh, this is cos, two, the cosine, there's another one there. So we get a plus 2 sine x cos 2x. And now what we notice is that we're left with the, this over here, but it has cosine uh, squared x. But the identity doesn't have any cosine, so we need to convert the cosine into, into sine squared of x. But first, let's factor out this cosine squared of x. Actually, we'll, we could factor it out uh, later. Uh, I'll just, what we'll do instead is recall Recall the, uh, the trigonomic identity, which is the sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x. This just equals to 1 right here. So if you recall this, I'll put the link in, in the description below. All we have to do is rearrange this, move this over. So what we get is cosine squared of x equals to 1 minus sine squared x like that. So that's what this equals to. Now we could throw this inside here as well as here. So then now we bring this down finally and we get a sine 3x equals 2 sine x 1 minus sine squared x and then minus sine cubed x plus 2 sine 2 sine x like this and then this is going to be 1 minus sine squared x like that. Multiply this out, we get sine x minus sine cubed x minus sine cubed x. Now here we get a plus 2 sine x like that. And then multiply this, we get a minus 2 sine cubed x. So we add the like terms, so we have sine x, 2 sine x, that equals 2, well, 3 sine x, and now we have minus 2 sine cubed, and then we have a minus uh, just 1 sine cubed minus sine cubed, I'll add all these up together, we get a minus 4 sine cubed x, which is our identity. So thus that is what it equals to, I'll put that down here. So sine 3x, yeah, this is equal to, and box it out, sine 3x equals to 3 sine x minus 4 sine cubed x. And you can see it's exactly uh, this right there. So yeah, that's the proof. It requires a couple of uh, previous trigonomic identities, and I'll put the link to all those proofs in the video link below. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this quick uh, this quick trig identity proof. And uh, yeah, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.